as soon as they give you a cubic function, the first instinct is this then. I can expect to get three answers. I'm sure this one is x to the power of three. Ne? I can expect to have what? Three answers. That's, is, that is the first instinct. That's what we should expect. We expect three roots. Now the three roots can be the same, Agish. They can be two, this, uh, two which are the same, and then it can be three different roots. All of them, they are different. So if I'm expecting now for, for, for number two, if I'm expecting three different answers, should I'm expecting my answer to look like this. X is going to be equaling two, or X is going to be equaling two again, or X is going to be equaling two. Those are the three things that I'm expecting. Yeah. Now, how do I know which I'm going to have two or I'm going to have three? I'm saying to you, you can use your stationary points. Your stationary points can guide you. If you get your stationary point, and then you say you have three X squared minus eight X minus three, ne? and then you come and say the derivative is going to be equal to zero. You have three X squared minus eight X minus two, and then you get X is going to be three or X is going to be equal to what two? Minus one all over three. Okay, these are the answers that we got. Now, because I have two turning points, when Elena has two stationary points, here they are going to get three answers on the x-intercept. As long as you have two turning points, as long as you have two turning points, remember, when we say you have two turning points, we mean you have two different things. If it's the same, it's one thing. So as long as Elena has two turning points, they should expect how many answers? Three. Okay, now that you know how many answers you expect, you can go and use your calculate. It's going to be simple from now. As long as you know how many answers should we get, then you can go and use your calculate. Now you go to your calculator, you say, okay, let's go to our calculate. You go to mode. And then your calculator should have an option which is called a table. According to my calculator, it says it's option seven. According to yours, it can be three, it can be two, it can be one, we don't know. Okay? So after that, you type this thing, you're going to say alpha x, ne? and then you say cubed. Cubed, you say shift, and then you press the power squared. Minus four alpha x squared minus three. Minus three alpha x ne? plus 18. Now, remember, they're going to ask us where do you want to start. Eh? Now, here's what we're going to do, Terence. We're going to include the values like turning points. We're going to make sure which we include the values I'm a turning point to it. So since this one here is minus one over three, I can start to minus three. And then this one is three. I can say from this one plus three. From this one, I can say minus three. So I can say, let's start to minus three. And then end, I can end to five. I can end to six. It doesn't matter. Really you should just be careful with your calculator doesn't say memory full, because <laughs> step you leave it as one for now. And then from there onwards, here's what you're going to do. You are going to go decide with replay. You're going to replay. And then you're going to go to replay and then you're going to check here. And then you're going to check where it's zero. You see f of x, where it says f of x, and then you check where f of x is equal to zero. f of x is zero. Can you see that? When f of x is zero, you're going to ask yourself, what is the x value that is corresponding there? What is the x value that is corresponding there? That is the first x value that we're going to have. We write it down. Let's go and check now. Is there any other person who's giving us zero? Who's that? It's three. We write three. Anyone? And then we go to our calculator and say, okay, Mara, let's go and check again. Is there any other person who's giving us? No one. We are not done. The next thing that we're going to do, Terence, is this then. We're going to our cal a calculator again. And then now we're going to change our step. And then we're going to make our step, instead of being one, we're going to make it to be 0, 0,5. Yeah? I just press AC and then you say equals to equals to again. Up until you get to the step. Yeah, steps ago, you make it to be 0, 0,5. Ne? And then you go and check again. Is there any person who's giving you zero here? It's still the same people, Eh? Yeah? Zero goes with. No, 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 Tina. Singapa with f of x. Singapa with f of x. Check with x. Check with f of x. Yes. 
There's no any other person. Should you are done? Now, how many answers did you get in? We got two. Mara, how many do we need? We need three. So, how are we going to get the third one then now? Chai, we're going to take this thing yet and take it back to our brackets. This one here, we're going to take this thing. I guess it's negative here. Yeah. If you put it inside your brackets, we're going to have x plus 2. And then we're going to have what? x minus 3. Now, you want to get the third one, Agish. How are you going to get the third one? It's simple. We're going to tell them, okay, I need to multiply this. This one multiplied by this one. Multiply by something here. Then they're going to give me x cubed. What should I write here such that I can get x cubed? If I multiply this thing and this thing and this one, they should give me this thing here, which is x cubed. I'm going to write x here. And then now, I'm going to tell them, Gucci, I want to multiply this thing with this one and this person here. They're supposed to give me 18. What is the person that I should put here? Again, if I say this one multiplied by this one, it gives me minus 6. No? I should say minus 6 multiplied by what so that I can get 18. Minus 3. No? Yeah, it means the last answer is going to be equal to what? Two? To 3. You see, your calculator can give you only two answers or it can give you one. When I will be able to get them using this thing here. Yeah. And then as your activity, then you are going to go and factorize all these things here. Yeah. 